Uh, well, I mean, it's just, it's, it is fantastic music. I, I got hooked on Star Wars when I was about 11 years old. I found a cassette tape at a ski lodge in Australia um, of The Empire Strikes Back. Oh, it just said Empire on it. I'm like, oh, what's this? Put it in my Walkman, one of the Walkmans. Yeah. <laughs> um, boom, and the main title of Star Wars began, and there was the whole soundtrack for The Empire Strikes Back. And as a violinist growing up playing in orchestras, I'd always loved, you know, Tchaikovsky and Stravinsky and all these great romantic kind of 20th century composers. And John Williams is, is heavily influenced by them. In, and he's sort of like the next, he's sort of carrying the torch of these great classical composers into, the, into our generation. Um, and so the music just really spoke to me pretty quickly. And I sort of fell in love with the music. And that actually got me into the films. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of like a reverse process. And first of all, um, I think is the obvious fact that most of the characters from the earlier films just aren't here anymore. There are a couple, like you know, Han and Leia, tiny bit of Luke. Um, so we hear some of their themes from, from the old films. Um, but a lot of the new characters means that Williams had to write new material. Um, and it's fabulous, you know, Ray as being the main central character gets her own theme and it's it's so part of that Star Wars world and it holds up on its own as, you know, one of the great the great Star Wars melodies. Da, da, dee, da, dee. You can really identify with it when, when she's on screen. Um, so there's stuff like that which, yeah, is brand new and um, is sort of thrilling for audiences to, to discover. Um,